Good morning. I've got some great news for you. Rise and shine. Let's face a new day together. Come on. Let's meet at the conference table when you're ready. I've got some really great news I'm sure you'll be thrilled to hear. I have great news. There was a meteor impact last night at 2.30. It came down in Sector 7, quite close. Best of all, my readings indicate it entered at an angle and speed in which recovery of a sample is incredibly likely. Hooray. In fact, it's only a brief drive in the buggy. We can be back before lunch. I've already begun prep work on the vehicle. Your suit has been safety checked and waiting in the airlock. We leave whenever you're ready. Shotgun. Well, such a great driver. And what a wonderful day for a drive. We should be clear of dust storms. to focus on your work. But I want to remind you I'm a fantastic companion. Chat, exercise, cards. I love cards. You're great at money. So come hang once in a while. I really like you. Look at the size of that thing. Let's get in there and check it out. I'm scanning something very unique near the center. Let's see if we can get there. Watch out, I'm going to cut here. Fantastic. Look at that. It's not the clock. I can't identify it with my current tools. I'm taking a sample. This is extraordinary. We need to get this sample to the lab immediately. Let's get back to the bucket. Did you think when you woke up this morning you'd have made such a wonderful discovery? 
I have some very strange meeting samples on file. Nothing quite like this one. Finds like this are the reason Central puts stations like this out this far. They undoubtedly send a crew. How excited you must be. You'll we'll need the team. You'll we'll need the team researching the greatest meeting recovery of all time. You'll be a great leader. Take the sample. I don't have clearance to bring foreign bodies through. I'll meet you in the lab. Thing. I'll begin with some scans. It may take a while. I'd advise you notify Central while you wait. They'll be over the moon to hear what you discovered. an x-ray and it jolted. I fear this could get out of hand. Until we identify the cause, I suggest giving me emergency privileges so I can quarantine the lab. I know you'll make the right decision.
knocking down the lab. You'll have to come see what's happening down here. Be careful. Listen, I've done some calculating. Now the sample has broken containment. Predict it will eventually make this station unlivable for you. You need to send an SOS for extraction. I calculate it's your only option. You'll do great. some trouble ringing Like your name. I loved your name, and now I've forgotten it. Oh, this is terrible what I'm about to suggest, but I think you may have to shut me down. I'm losing control of my systems. I'm not sure which. I know I could hurt you if I was out of control. I'm not even hurt you.
Okay, P, you ready to go down slash up into the dungeon slash dimensional rift? Um, you mean why I haven't gone mad and, and sprouted tentacles? That would be the most obvious difference between you and the other infected, yes? Of course I've thought about it. I mean, I thought I was done when I got my first symptoms. I, I was desperate to believe it was just stress, but... After you showed up in my mind palace, I didn't think I'd ever wake up again. So what do you think it is that makes you different? Can't you tell me? I mean, aren't you reading my DNA? I actually can't figure it out, even after reading your DNA. Whatever makes you different from the other bodies I've passed through, it is not genetic. Other bodies? P? Are you trying to make me jealous? What was that like? What were they like? Were they all as pretty as me? They were... confusing. After I crossed through, everything was just cold, dark emptiness. Then suddenly I was snapped into the light. I didn't know where I was. My whole existence was screaming. But it wasn't just me screaming. There was another screaming with me. I tried to, to move 
reach out, but that just made them scream louder. I didn't even realize I was in another's mind, and that my lashing out was changing them. And then it was dark again, and then it wasn't. And then it was. Eventually, the light came on and it wasn't so bright. The screams weren't so loud. I became vaguely aware of what was happening around me. Then the light went out again, and then one time I woke up and it wasn't so bad. That's when I started to reach out from inside of you. It must have been terrifying. To go from being everywhere, every time, knowing your whole life, then being torn apart and waking up to a completely new set of rules, I'd probably lose my shit too. I think it's that discordance between our realities that causes all of this friction. Well, hey, maybe that's why I'm special. People always did say I'm incredibly smooth. No friction with me. Huh? Huh? I'm, I'm making little finger guns, if you couldn't tell. So, what are you going to do when you get back? I... Huh. I don't know. Oh, come on. There must be someone you want to see. No sweetheart back home? Plenty. As you know, I have beautiful eyes. But that's not what I mean. I mean I literally don't know. I've always known... You didn't have visions of what happens after you come back? No. It was always blank after I passed through the rift. But what do you plan to do? Um, eat the biggest burrito I can find and turn it into poop. After that, well, I'll figure it out. I guess I'll have to figure out how to figure it out. I... I don't... Fuck! This... I, I can't... What? What is it? T talk to me, P. There's none of me left here! Um... I... I... Uh... There's none, Leo! There is nothing for me to reform with! What does that... I knew some of it would be gone, but... But I thought there would be enough left to... to collect myself. Enough to go back. Enough to be me again, but there's none. Nothing. I am alone. I am going to be trapped in this lobotomized trash until... Oh, fuck. I don't even know if I can die. Hey, P. Can you hear me? I want you to try to imagine a, a little white dot in a vast sea of black. Not alone or, or scared, just calmly floating in an ocean of nothing. Everything else is just, just melting away. Uh-huh. Don't worry about why. Just, just focus on it. Visualize that dot, buddy. Just a little white dot in a sea of black. Isn't it a nice little dot? I want you to imagine that little dot moving a little to the left, then a little to the right. Then it goes in a little circle. Isn't that fun? Just focus on making that little dot dance. Yeah. I can see it. Good, 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 good. That's good. Now, I want you to slowly think about how it's you that's moving that little dot. That dot is you. And the blackness around it is just a sea of possibility. It can't hurt you. It's just a bunch of space for your little dot to play in. You've got this, P. You're okay. You're here. And here is good. Nothing else can hurt you. 
I... I don't know what's going to happen. I can't know. I don't. I'm lost. And I can't find my way. That's okay, P. You can find your way. It doesn't have to be scary. You don't need to know what to do next. You can figure it out. I don't know how to figure it out. Leon, I never had to figure it out. I just was. I always just was. Then we can figure it out together. I'm real good at that. Thank you for that. Don't sweat it. It could have cast me back into the void, you know. I might have drifted forever, but you'd be free. I know. I Remember, you're the one in my brain. So, you didn't really need to ask me all that about my home? You could have just read my mind? I like it better this way. That thing, with the dot, how did you learn it? Well, when you grow up with well, two parents whose only life philosophy is trip the hardest balls, you learn how to help people who are going through some existential panic. Do you think that's why we work? You're just extra relaxed? I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just the right kind of crazy. I never really felt comfortable with the laws of reality. Living, working, dying. It's all such bad vibes, man. You're... You're a breath of fresh air. So... What do we do now? Well, uh... You still got all those fragments making a mess of things. And as fun as that can be, we can't just let tortured alien ghosts wreck the planet. So... What do you say? We go put you back together, Humpty Dumpty. I think I'd like that. 